Hey guys, so today we are looking at home workout routine with no equipment whatsoever. So this is a very good way to exercise if you don't have any equipment in the house or if you're not a big fan of the gym. So I hope you enjoy this. So the first thing we can go for is some, some, some good, good lunges against the wall. So what you do is you just put uh, your, your back foot down in here and you just go really nice. So you're just working out on your quadriceps and the glutes of course at the same time. This is very good exercise. So do 10 repetitions, five sets, swapping legs, you know, after first and you do the other, the other leg of course. So this would be the first one. Um, second one, lovely wall holds. Yeah? So once you, once you have your lunges done, you can just hold, go for a minute. Um, then you can increase the time, of course, to one and a half, two, three, five minutes, however long you want. Keep your legs straight, tense your core, and just stay there, okay? Again, five, um, five repetitions with about 40 seconds break, that will really nicely do. Then uh, what you can do is, uh, is just a very slow squat. There are many variations of squats. Uh, what I would um, suggest now, is more of kind of like a ballet sort of plie type of thing that you just, you just keep your legs uh, tilting outside, which means that you can really concentrate on your glutes, glutes in here. So you just go out and then as you're pushing out, you're squeezing your glutes together, which means you get more engagement in there. So this is really nice. Okay, and it's really good. And now to get the, the side of the glutes, what you, you, what you do is you put one of your legs forward like this, and then the other one in here. Okay, facing forward, and you just go in here. This is a really nice way to get your, as they call it, Brazilian butt. <laughs> so, right, so you, do, so you do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and that's, that would be a very nice combination for your, uh, for your legs covering all the way up. If you wanna work, especially on your, uh, on your calves, you just put one of the legs up. You could hold onto a wall if you, if, if you, if you uh, prefer, and just go gently up and down on one leg. Okay, so this will get you really nice definition on the calves as well. So you can do both, of course. <laughs> then, everyone's favorite, burpees. Okay, you jump up, you could do the, the advanced version, which is, which is that you do a push-up at the same time. So just go up and push up in here. Okay, so we're getting into the, into the upper part now. So now just easy push-ups, okay? So the first, first bit is that you do quite wide type of push-up, which will mostly cover your chest. So this is all the way here, and you're just going up and down. It's very versatile. If you can't do full push-ups, it's absolutely fine. Get on your knees and just get down in here, okay? Now, so this is the chest covered. Again, five sets of 10 repetitions, 40 seconds break. Now, you tilt your hands in, and this will be working a bit more on your, on your triceps and biceps in here, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing again, five repetitions, 10 sets. And then of course you could do the triangles in here. They just go nicely in, okay? So we're covering a bit more of the, of the shoulders, the deltoids, trapezius, and, and these type of muscles. So the abdominal routine will be quite simple. We can start with, with nice plank, okay? Now we do the variation of plank, which means funny tilting from side to side. That gets your obliques quite a bit, okay? And then obviously, one of my favorites. This is really nice too as well. You could do both arms if you feel like that, okay? It's also possible as well. And then just get nicely on the elbows down here 
and just start cycling in the air. Okay, if, if by any chance the, the coccyx bone is just there too much, get a pillow under your, under your buttocks and this will actually help you not to be in pain. So, yeah, Humpy, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. Uh, give me a shout if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel, let me know what you would like to see and I'll see you next time.